Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and we're going to talk today about a little something called red pulling, red pulling, I don't know how you pronounce it exactly. And uh, the reason we're going to talk about this and what it is exactly is very interesting. So let's go back. If you guys remember, and if a lot of you probably know, we discovered last year at the beginning of the year a major flaw that was about Intel CPUs at first, but it's pretty much grown to every known processor made has a flaw. Spectre and Meltdown separate flaws that actually could be used to inject or to um, hack into devices, basically. Now, the first set of fixes that came were through web browsers. Web browsers had a change so that it mitigates what that means, it doesn't, you know, make it impossible to still hack into, but it reduces the risk by making it more complicated. And that were the first set of fixes early last year. Then Intel had microcode fix for processors and pretty much every CPU, Intel, AMD, and all of that made in the past five or six years were fixed. I've got a six-year-old laptop here and that there was a fix for it. So in the past five or six years, almost every CPU has been patched with a new microcode. The problem with the microcode is that it disables some of the features that actually make the processor the fastest possible. And it had an impact. Some people saw a slowdown of their computer up to 30%. That's a huge slowdown, especially if you have a PC that is several years of age. Now, where Red Pauline comes through, it's uh, Google. Google had actually uh, looked at Spectre and Spectre version 2 variant because there's new variants that were found through the year, uh, new ways of attacking. And it found that it has a different way that it can actually attack the and mitigate Spectre flaw. But that different way means that you actually get back some of that speed that you actually lost with the Intel microcode. So the Google red pulling uh, fix has been done and made available for Windows 10 PCs. Now, until now, Windows 10 PCs did not have that fix, except if you were an insider, the next version of Windows coming in April was fixed with this red pulling um, mitigation. And that means that the next version of Windows will be faster for a lot of people. But there's an interesting thing that happened this week. We had a cumulative update for the latest version of Windows 10, 17.7.6.3. So that means that those on the October 2018 update, you, some of you, have received this Red Pauline update in the past week. And it's not still not available for every type of CPUs, but there's a whole um, bunch of processors that actually uh, had this fixed with the cumulative update last week. So some of you, after the cumulative update that we received last week for the latest version of Windows 10, so remember, that was not for earlier versions. It was only for those on 17.7.6.3, the October 2018 update. Well, within that, there was the Red Pauline Google fix that was actually applied to Windows 10. That means a lot of you will see an improvement in actually speed on your PC with this fix. Once again, you know, this doesn't eliminate the problem because it's still there and possibly still exploitable in some way, but they're making it really hard. So, you know, until we, we were more than a year after they found this flaw and we, you know, we don't have any indication of anybody actually being uh, been using this flaw to attack there's still no indication of anybody using this flaw to attack. So that's also good news here. And the mitigation effects probably make it more difficult. So probably bad guys are looking at this and saying, well, 
it's easier to use other types of flaws that we find and rather uh, exploit this one. So that's the good news, meaning that people with the October 2018 update will also have this speed increase. The uh, speed increase is what? So I told you that the first fix slowed down your PC up to 30%. This one, they say it's uh, the speed, um, basically the slowdown is within the, n the background noise. What that means, it means that the slowdown is so small that for most people you won't really notice that it slows down slightly the computer. And it doesn't really matter, you know, when you consider that you go from a 30% slowdown to almost unnoticeable slowdown, that's a nice increase of speed and it's very, very nice. So uh, if you haven't applied that update from last week on the October 2018 update, uh, do so. You could uh, be surprised at the uh, increase in speed. Those that are on April 2019 update or a uh, 2018 update, sorry, or earlier, right now there's no cumulative update that has it. Uh, will it be pushed to you guys? Um, we don't know. We don't know yet. Uh, will Microsoft have that available for April 2018? Hopefully it will. I mean, there's still a lot of people there. But one thing for sure, everybody that will move on to the next version, 19H1, that's coming in about a month and a half from now you guys will have it automatically and it will be available for everybody so you'll have a speed increase and if there's only if there's one thing to look forward to the next update of windows 10 is the speed increase that you'll have from this if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching